matter because Arkansans want to know where their leaders stand. And, uh, you know, I didn't come to Little Rock to, to you know, to skip out on ideas or, or to say, I, I'm not going to say what I think. I mean, ultimately, I am going to support the president, uh, the Republican president, but I believe that person is going to be Mitt Romney, so why not tell people? I've, I've personally decided that's who I'm supporting, so that's who I am. The, um, you know, your, your, big, uh, you know, your big issue during, during last year's election was opposition to the health care law. Mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you signed on the lawsuit. Romney, you know, you know, Romney's getting, getting beat up over, you know, his, you know, over his, uh, his health care reforms, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the uh, you know, Romney care uh, term that's been used sure. for, you know, folks who have said that, that basically was a model for Obama's health care sure. how, how do you square those two things? Well, I had, uh, I had to do a lot of research on that. And, you know, Massachusetts is different than Arkansas. It's a lot more liberal state. It's a decision that their state made. Uh, and you're, you're talking about one of the most liberal states. Uh, in 1972, I believe it's the only state that, that voted for George McGovern for president. So, I mean, Massachusetts is different than Arkansas. Their voters decided this is what we want. It's a state issue. I mean, my, my uh, argument against the health care is the unconstitutional unconstitutionality of forcing Americans to buy that. If a state decides that that's what's best for their state, right or wrong, now do I agree with that? No, I don't. But that's their state's uh, right to choose whether it was for them or not. Do you think he was wrong to enact that? I don't agree with any uh, socialized medicine, to be honest with you. But uh, Governor do you think Romney, that was socialized medicine. I, yes, but I mean, my thing is that I believe that uh, Governor Romney is the best candidate for the job. He's a business owner. He has that experience. He has proven history to put people to work. And he, he's, he's done the best in the debates. He's going to be able to raise the most money to compete with uh, President Obama. So I'm excited about supporting him. So it's basically in, in spite of his, his health care. You know, I mean, I think it was Ronald Reagan that, that said that uh, I agree with you 95% of the time. I'm not sure of the percentage. Then, then we agree. And, and that's kind of the thing. I mean, there's a lot of Republicans that are, that are here today that I don't agree 100% with. Uh, but we're going to work to better our state, better our country together, and, and pull our ideas together. Do you think he's going to campaign here in Arkansas? I do think he's going to campaign here in Arkansas. I don't have a specific date. But obviously, Arkansas is going to vote uh, for the Republican uh, winner. And so I think that if we see him, we'll definitely see him in the primary. Um, I think that there, there's a date that I've heard, but I don't, I don't have it on my on the top of my head. But I believe that he will be here sooner rather than later. What's what's wrong with Perry? You know, there, you know, there have been multiple there have been multiple legislators yeah. that supported him. You know, sure. neighbor state, he's considered you know, sure. considered conservative. A lot of those a lot of those legislators that supported were best friends of mine. You know, and uh, I applaud. That's who they chose to support. I chose to support somebody different. I, I don't take anything away from Governor Perry. I met with him in July. I believe it was July. Very nice person. A great governor of the state of Texas. And Texas has added a lot of jobs. But uh, I just think that uh, Mitt Romney, uh, in the debates that I've seen so far, that he is best qualified to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Barack Obama. And so ultimately that was a decision for him. The, uh, did you meet with, with Romney also? I've spoken with him several times on the phone. I've spoken uh, with a lot of his campaign staff over the, over the last several months. And uh, this isn't a decision that I've taken lightly. Uh, and it's, in fact, it'll probably be one I get some criticism on. But, um, you know, it's like I said, I didn't come down here to, to kind of hide behind what I believe. And, and uh, Governor Romney's who I'm going to support the president. Texas shows that he is understanding. Obviously, a lot of people agree with him today. I think the announcement today of raising $17 million in, in uh, 49 days is, uh, you know, while it isn't everything, it's a good indication that there are a lot of people that are that are buying into his message of job creation. So, but uh, this is about this day is about Mark Nar, and I think he did a fantastic job, and I think a lot of people here uh, got introduced to him uh, really for the first time. So it was good, good to hear Mark. Speak. I think there was maybe one or two people. That I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, uh, I, you know, I tend not to tear down other candidates. I'm supporting uh, Governor Perry because I think he's the best person for the job, and, uh, and you know, he has his reasons. I have mine, but uh, obviously, we're very dear friends. And, uh, that's okay. It's not a problem.
have other Perry supporters trouble by the last couple weeks. His poll numbers have gone down. He's made a couple stumbles. Well, I mean, look, I mean, campaigns are long enterprises. There are going to be stops and starts and bumps in the road, and you're going to have them. I, I would say look at it historically and look how other candidates, winning candidates, have fared in presidential campaigns. So, I mean, to not acknowledge that there have been a few bumps along the way would be to ignore reality. Uh, but I feel confident in their ability to, to get things going. Uh, and again, I think I think the message in the record is so compelling. Uh, you know, some of these nit some of the items have been substantive. Some of them have been nitpicky. Uh, I, I think I think the record the record and the message uh, out overshadowed. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.